Hey guys, I'm going to show you a Taylor Swift inspired look. So I'm going to show you how to do this makeup, this hair, and I'm going to show you three outfit ideas for Taylor Swift's look. And I like love her new album, 1989. It's like her songs are really good. So you should listen to that as well. But let's get into the makeup. This is the makeup look I was going for. And to start it off, I'm just using the Urban Decay Prep Spray. And then I'm moving on to the Neutrogena concealer and I'm just doing that as a V underneath of my eyes and on my eyelids. I'm using the Benefit Pore Professional Primer to prime my face and then for foundation I'm just going to take the CoverGirl Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 foundation and blend that in all over my face and bl blending it in with a brush. I'm using the Neutrogena Press Powder just to set my foundation, and then I'm going to use the Sugar Bomb by Benefit, and I'm just doing that as a blush, but I'm using all the colors. I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Basics Palette, and I'm taking the color Faint and using that in my eyebrows, and then I'm going to use a spoolie brush just to like comb through my eyebrows because I want them to be set the way I want them to be. I'm taking the Naked Tube Urban Decay Palette and I'm going to use Booty Call all over my eyelid for the base. And then for my eyelid, I'm going to use Suspect. I'm going to use Busted in my crease and blending that in really well, but you still want it dark enough because hers is dark. And then I'm going to use Pistol on the outer corner of my crease, and that'll just darken up the look a little bit, but not too much. For the inner corners of my eye, I'm going to use the Color Tattoo by Eye Studio, and this is in the shade Too Cool, but it's just a white color, and it really brightens up your eyes, and Taylor Swift tends to do this a lot. For eyeliner below my eye, I'm taking the L'Oreal Paris Eye Illuminator in Sapphire and I'm just doing this as the bottom lash line. She does a lot of blue underneath of her eyes, so that's why I did that. And then for eyeliner on the top, I'm taking Maybelline Eye Studio in black and I'm going to just do a wing. You don't have to do a wing, but that's what Taylor Swift usually does. Using a gel liner is easier to control if you're doing a cat eye, and it's easier to clean up with just a wet q-tip. For mascara, I'm applying the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Butterfly Mascara in black. For my lips, I'm using the Kate Moss Rimmel London Lip Shade in 104. On top of that, I'm using the Stilla Lip Glaze in the color Candy Apple. For my hair, I'm just going to brush through it and I'm using a barrel that's one and a half inch just to knock some of my curls out and this just looks like, it does big waves but my hair is pretty curly right now so I'm just going to knock some of it out. Taylor has bangs and I don't so I'm just going to like make fake bangs so I'm just going to take a section from the back and put it up and then I'm going to take my front section of hair and kind of swish it over to make it look like bangs and then bobby pin it back and then I'm going to take the hair that I put up and just lay it back over if that makes any sense at all. This is the inspiration I got from look number one. Hey, hey, hey! Just think while you've been getting down and out about the liars and the dirty, dirty 
Taylor wears Oxford shoes a lot, and mine are from Delia's. Shaking to the fella over there with the hella good hair. Won't you come on over, baby? We can shake, shake, shake. Yeah! She's always wearing stuff like polka dots and skater skirts and just dresses in general. So I just decided to wear this dress that I purchased from Delia's, and it's just a maroon color dress with white polka dots. This is my inspiration for look number two. For my top, I'm just wearing this faux leather jacket from Kohl's and I just zipped it up because Taylor has her zipped up in the picture. And then underneath, I'm just wearing a black long sleeve shirt and you can really wear anything underneath but like, that's just if you want to take the jacket off. And it's from Forever 21. And then my skirt is from Nordstrom and it's just a black flowy skater skirt. My favorite thing about this skirt is how flowy it is whenever you spin it looks so pretty. But anyways, my tights are just from Forever 21 and then my black booties are from Charlotte Russe. This is the inspiration for look number three. If you've ever noticed, Taylor wears a lot of striped shirts and dresses, and she also wears a lot of high-waisted jeans and shorts. So I just decided to wear these high-waisted jeans from Delia's, and they're in the live style, but they're just dark washed as well. And for shoes, I'm just wearing my Oxfords again. For the shirt, it's cropped, but then the sleeves are cut out, and it's just a white and red striped shirt, and it's also from Forever 21. I hope you enjoyed the three outfit ideas, the hair and the makeup. And if you did, tell me which one is your favorite outfit. And also tell me which song is your favorite from her new album. I like Blank Space and Out of the Woods. I think they're both really good. But I mean, I like them all too. So, like, Wonderland's good. Okay, anyway, so I can go on my day. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next week. Bye, guys. Let me take a snap, Jay. Don't blur. Oh, here it is. Again, get the point. Get to the Point. Those are the wrong words. <laughs>